Hello, class. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Hi, Angela. Hi, Claudia. Hi, Denia. Hi, teacher. How are you? How was your day today? It's uh, really good. <laughs> was really, really good. I have medical leave. In capacidad. You had a medical leave. Okay. Medical, oh. I have medical leave. How many days? Uh, 21. <laughs> wow. What, what, what happened? Because I have a fracture. I don't know how to say, but this fractura de coccyx. You fractured your coccyx. Yes, but it's not big. Uh, it's a little bit. It's not much, but the doctor say you need to take a break and uh, give it to you 21 days because you have much time sit because oh, yeah. I work in call center and you need to have a, a break and you need to stay in your bed all the time. Are the so, people in the call center happy? I don't know. It's not uh, my problem, honestly. <laughs> yeah, I know. Um, well, so 21 yeah. days. Yeah, 21 days. What do you plan to do? Nothing. I am mother, and honestly, I, I don't gonna do. Um, nothing. I am mom, and I work every day. I say, I I have a daughter. She has four years, and I, I have to take care. Mm -hmm. I don't know if that's correct to say. It is. And honestly, uh, only take care of that. Well, you have, you have to relax. Nah, yes, a little bit relax. <laughs> a little bit. Wow, but good for you, man. Wow. Yes. That's, that's good. That's cool. All right, so 21 days. Yeah. You know, uh, you said you 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 have a daughter, right? Yes, I have a daughter. Um, I remember the last time when I, well, I had, when I got COVID. Uh, but I, I got it when, when it started, you know that everybody thought that you were going to die. Yeah. So I remember. Sorry. No, so I, I remember. I remember. I had. I had two weeks of 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 like no contact, and those were terrible two weeks, but they were excellent too, because it was only me my room, the bathroom, and TV. It, for me, it was a mini vacation because I had no contact with anyone. I mean, my wife, she had to knock on the door, tu comida, and I had to open the door and get it. Okay, here. It was like a private hotel. And, yeah. and I remember thinking, because when you're married and you have children, you will never, ever have an opportunity like that again in your life. No. Like two weeks, two weeks of, of um. It's a full job. Yes. <laughs> so I, I really enjoyed. I enjoyed my my COVID. Yeah. Yes. And when COVID is the time, the past years, my baby have two years. It was very difficult because she touched. Everything she hi she but she uh, is a a big problem in that moment. 
because oh, she, yeah, had, she was two years. So, but when uh, the, fa the pandemic <laughs> passed, <laughs> I'm sorry, baby. <laughs> but yeah. yeah. No, I understand. Yes, this is <laughs> terrible. That age is very, very terrible. They touch everything. All right. Okay. How is everyone today? Good. I, I don't know. I don't know if you watch the news or if you watch Instagram or Facebook, but don't you hate it that everybody says, Oi, si va llover. Today's going to rain. It never rains. I watch uh, the news the, every, every morning. There's the house of the day was raining today. Really? Where? In San Juan Opico. Opico is going to Santa Ana, no? Um, yeah. Occidental, right? It's, it's near the, I don't know how to say, this bio. The detour. <clears throat> the detour. Uh, the... Could you spell it, please? Sure. Detour. Okay, near the detour. But listen, don't get it confused porque a veces decimos desvío. <coughs> lo confundimos con división. You know, you understand because, yeah, I, I understand. Like for example, um, San Miguel. There's a there's a detour for San Miguel in La Unión, right? But I don't know to make it a division. So because if it's division, you say division. Mm. Wow. So it rained. All, it rained. That's good in Opico because in San Salvador, or at least where I live, it didn't rain. It hasn't rained. Yeah. What about where you live? Angela, is it raining? Did it rain today where you live? No, teacher, in this moment, no. You live no, in really. Metapan, correct? No, uh, Ciudad Versailles, uh, well, San yeah. Pico. Yes. Yes. Oh, okay. Bert, any rain in, in, in San Miguel? No, it's not raining. All right. Hey, Bert, what happened to Pereira? Is he still in El Salvador or he... He I don't did. have a clue about him because he he disappeared. He just huh? Disappeared. Yeah, he just disappeared. I don't know any. Actually, this is uh, we don't have idea what happened to him. Yeah, I, mean, it, I don't. I mean, the thing is, to be honest, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. No, but you know, I because I, I I was wondering what happened because he was a very big opponent in in his time mm -hmm. you know and then he he just just disappeared well not really because he was like a opositor to bukele so i think he i don't know something really bad happened uh, maybe three years ago when bukele wants to come here to san miguel i remember and that. he forbid yeah yeah that happened that, that was, was really bad for him yeah, that was that, that was not professional. Yeah, I, I remember yeah. that. No, that's what I'm saying. He was a very big name in that time. He was one of the biggest of the biggest in the opposition, the opposites. Yeah, yeah, he was uh, when Bukele was uh, the FMLN, he was a good uh how do you mean? Mayor? Kid to that. Yeah, because Was he a good mayor? Sorry, was he a good mayor? Was he what? Was Sorry, he, a lot of noise there. No, was he a good mayor? Mm, not that good. I mean, so he wasn't he's good. He wasn't that. Bad. I mean, it's like uh, the act, the the act, the current uh, mayor. So yeah, it's, yeah, it's a bullshit. I mean, it's thing. <laughs> So yeah, I, can't, I, can't I don't believe. like him at all. Yeah, we don't like we don't. He and my family doesn't don't like uh, Fagalo. We don't like him. 
most of the people here don't like him because he's just like corruption. We know that he's doing really, really, rumor has it that he's do, doing really bad things in dark uh, process. And that's the reason maybe he won't, um, he won't win the next, in the next election. I remember his daughter, Yuriko, she was my student and he bought her a, a BMW, I think, or a Mercedes. And so quinceañera, man on her 15th birthday. Well, this was like 20 years ago, maybe. But he's crazy. He was crazy. He's funny, though. All yeah, right. by the way, Salgado is in the angel list. I don't know if you knew that. Yeah. yeah. So, I mean, that's not good. I mean, most of the People that work for the government isn't that that leads. But you know, and you know, but Kelly, but you know, one thing you have to pretend that. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Uh -huh. Go, Go ahead. ahead. What one thing? No, what, I mean. Pre I'm sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> Bukele pretend just ignoring that list. I mean, <clears throat> the most of the funcionarios, I mean, the worker or the minister, they are in that list. But so you know, nobody is noticing that. No, no. Okay, that's true, but. Do you know who is not on the list? Yeah, no. Cristiani is not on the list. Uh, my son was not on the list. And, yeah, and you, you're and you you're think, right. like, why? <laughs> okay, okay, maybe if it's Salgado, Bukele, and all of them are on the list, okay. But why is Cristiani not on the list? Why is... I wonder the same question. I'm, yeah, I and, wonder the same. Why? But you know... And you're right. I mean, uh -huh. this is a political for the United States of America. It is, yeah. And I, I was reading that it's, it's not only a Salvador, it's in every country. Like, for example, now Venezuela is, is, is a good country for the United States. Now they are good people. The, the president is good now. <laughs> Remember before they were enemies. Yeah, politics. Politics is horrible, but it's interesting. Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah, you're right. It's interesting. I mean... Think about it, uh, Russia, what happening now in the Ukraine. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's a terrible thing what's going on over there. But the thing is, who's wrong or who's right? But the one thing that I can notice is about related to the social <clears throat> and the mass media. They can put a, a narrative in the people's mind that the exactly. United States of America always, always pretend that they are in the right place in the history i mean but it's totally I mean, it's true wrong, I mean. it's true yes it depends like if you want to watch fox news or cnn that you know it's, or like in el salvador you can you can watch channel 10 or you can watch i don't know they say and you get different versions yeah the you can read Diario El Salvador or you can read La Prensa Gráfica and it's totally different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, do you see my screen? Yes, yes sir. sir. Can see your screen. See. All right, so yesterday, hold on. Then. Yesterday we were doing um, infinitives and, and um, gerunds, remember? Yes. Yes. Um, okay. Today we're going to say what's appropriate. Appropriate. Can you say that word appropriate? Say it, Claudia Hirong. I see you, but you, you, you have a microphone. Can you say appropriate? You're in mute. Appropriate. Okay. Appropriate. Okay, good. Can you say it, Angela? Appropriate. Okay, good. Hey, very good. I imagine it was going to be difficult for some because it is a long word. Pero un truco, cuando no les cueste, díganlo por partes, por sílabas. Appropriate. Four syllables. Appropriate. Eight. Appropriate. 
appropriate. appropriate. So appropriate. say it in four, say it in three, say it in two, say it in one. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is for everybody. Okay. Uh, what is appropriate? Can you tell me something that is appropriate and something that is not appropriate? Okay, for example, when somebody invites you to a reunion, what is appropriate if you go? It's appropriate arrive on time. Arrive on time, okay. What else? To confirm one day before if you're going to be there, if you're going to assist. That's true. It's it's, it's appropriate to confirm. To it's confirm that you're going to assist or that you're not going to assist. It, you know. Mm. Sorry, it's appropriate. Uh, respect the dress code. Okay, the dress code. All right, very good. Now tell me something that is not appropriate. Do you know, or can you tell me something that is not appropriate? Like getting there under the alcohol effects. Okay, that's good. It's not appropriate <laughs> inviting someone, someone. Yes. It's, yes, it's not appropriate to bring more people. I hate that. I hate that, Jonathan. Oh man. My my wife, she has a reunion with her classmates from the university once a year. She's very close with a group of friends. So once a year, or maybe no, maybe like three or four times a year, they have a reunion in somebody's house. You know, in somebody's house, and only the 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 university friends and and their spouse and there's always this one man this one person he's from san miguel también por cierto man he comes with his wife his wife's sister la mamá he comes like with eight people always 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 and that's not appropriate <laughs> because I tell my wife, come on, you, we are expecting eight people, you know, your friends and, and the wife and maybe the children, but oh, come on, man, you know, <laughs> the wife, the sister, the brother, la posa, the, like, con quien quiere. hey, let's go, let's go. Mm -hmm. I, I don't like him. I don't like him. But una vez si me venga. Because um, we paid, we paid a chef. Wow, well, it was in my house. I didn't want to cook, so I paid a, a chef. She made Mexican food, like all you can eat, all you can eat. He cobrado all cien dollars for for the event. You know, so um, he's not my friend. He came with like six or seven people. Yo le cobre. I told him, hey, give me $40. I didn't need to charge him, but I just didn't like the action because it's not only one time, two times, always. So and that's not appropriate. Yeah. What else? What else is not appropriate? Not only in a party, in anywhere, like. Uh, maybe when you have a meeting or or something like that, and you always talk about yourself, or your okay. family, myself, my family, and stuff like that. That I I hate that. That's true. That's true. Oh, you know what else is not appropriate when um when you're talking to people and they are on the cell phone. I hate that. Today, when I when I sometimes when I go to a restaurant by myself and I'm eating, 
I like to watch people. And I don't know if you do it, but if you see a lot of people, it's sad and triste because you see young people, maybe their boyfriend, girlfriend, and they are not talking. They are like this. Yes, they are sitting in the same table, but they're not talking. They're they're on the phone. And um, I, I that's not appropriate. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, anything else that you think is not appropriate? When they get into the room and they don't say hi to people there, they just they just talk to people they don't they know. Okay, good. So that is called wave. Now. To greet. To greet. Saludar. Yes, that I mean that that's that's saying greet. Ah, okay. E so I is have that... seen the word wave like no. okay, wave literalmente is the wave. The same as the sea waves. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. But wave, yeah, and, and this salute because this means hi. But it actually is greet. It's not polite not to greet. Or it is polite to greet someone. It is polite to greet when you come in in a reunion. Okay? Okay, okay. To greet. Greet. No great. Greet. Claudia Guerrero, what is greet? Saludar. Thank you. Like those events, meet and greet. Oh, yeah, meet and greet. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, meet and greet. <laughs> One time I went to a restaurant and Marito Rivera was there. He had a meet and greet. It's like, who the hell wants to? <laughs> like, really, man, to meet and greet Marito Rivera? <laughs> I guess it was for free, right? No, you paid it to free. Like, I think it was like five or ten dollars for meet and greet. But you know, meet and greet now is very popular with artists in the United States because artists, they don't sell albums anymore. They don't. So they have to sell concerts and meet and greets. And it's ridiculous. I mean, like, for example, I was reading Kiss. Kiss, I think. No, can you enter? Paul McCartney, a concert of Paul McCartney. Some tickets were even $3,000. $3,000. And if you want to buy a package for $5,000, it's a meet and greet. And the conditions are ridiculous. It's a meet and greet is like, yes, Paul McCartney, why you got a, a salon? He may be, he says hi, maybe personally or maybe in general, depending on the O sea, ni está asegurado that you will meet him personally. Yeah, that's, that's, but people pay. Hmm. Okay, Who's, so. Yeah, I sorry? have a question. Yeah. Whose meet and greet uh, would you pay for? Oh, yeah, that's a good question. Hmm. Famous man, Quentin Tarantino. The he's a director, right? Yes. Like, yes, I know. What about you? Cristiano Ronaldo. Oh yeah, and Messi. I would meet and greet Messi. Because I think he is inter interesting. Because he is. He does some things other people don't to take care of himself. So I would like to know what he does and how. He's great, yeah. He, Cristiano Ronaldo is very, very disciplined. I think he's extreme disciplined, which is good. Maybe his only problem is his ego. 
But yeah, meet and greet, Ronaldo. Um, meet and greet Messi, pero Messi es bien para hablar es bien. Bueno, he's like, so, uh, shy. Yeah, he's always I, shy. Like he doesn't care. I don't think it's, I don't think he would share something like personal with you. She mm -hmm. would treat you like yes, just a fan. And yes. In the other, in the other hand, you could ask for Siano anything you know about him and I'm sure he's gonna he will he will establish a conversation with you yeah I'm sure he's like extrovert out, outgoing. Yeah, outgoing outgoing yeah you're yeah. right I, I will I I will give it to you there yes that's true okay let's watch the lady that's the lady <laughs> did you ever watch the movie Nacho Libre Have you ever watched that movie? Nah, no. I love that. That movie is so funny. No. Yes. It's a uh, Jack Black I, movie. Yes, I love I love that movie so much. Because Jack Black is in that movie, he he is awesome. He was awesome as Bowser, too. Oh, I haven't seen that movie. No, but okay, who's seen Nacho Libre? I did. I remember the part where he takes the kids to the uh, mercado? No, I don't uh, Well, there's a part he's like, he says, okay. I was I, like 10 years yeah. old when I watched the, the movie. <laughs> yeah, Nacho Libre basado en una historia, o sea, real, pero ellos le pusieron más salsa de, de, de un sacerdote que se hizo luchador en México para los huérfanos. Él estaba en un convento de huérfanos. <laughs> Y, y de verdad era luchador. Y pero en esta la hace Nacho. It, it's funny porque Jack Black la hace de mexicano. Y, y, it's funny, man. I recommend you watch him. Y encuentra a un, a un vago que era todo seco que se llama Esqueleto. Esqueleto. Su, su pareja. Yeah. Okay, uh, no, the, the, there's a part that he says, that's a crazy lady, because he speaks with a Mexican accent. Okay, so we're going to listen to the lady, listen to words that are inappropriate, okay? Okay. In class with a friend, I start a conversation. Hi, listen and read the following words and phrases. Decide if they are positive, negative, or neutral. A compliment, an insult, appropriate, bad form, inappropriate, normal, offensive, polite, rude, strange, typical, unusual. How do you feel about these things? Discuss the situations using the words and phrases above. One. You kiss people you meet on the cheek. Two, you and your classmates interrupt the teacher. Three, you stand very close to people when you talk to them. Four, you and your parents talk honestly and openly. Five, your best friend calls you after 11 p.m. Six, you start a conversation with a stranger on a bus or subway. How do you open a conversation? How do you close a conversation? Hope these expressions are useful for you. Useful expressions. Conversation openers. How's it going? Can you believe this weather? It's awful. That's a great jacket. Do you know many people here? Conversation closers. See you later. Sorry, I've got to run. Talk to you soon. It was Okay, ah, let's do this. An, an insult. Okay, compliment is something positive or negative? Okay, positive. Let's say positive. What about an insult? Positive. Negative. Negative. Appropriate. Positive. Positive. Um, I, mean, I think negative. bad form. Do you understand bad form, inappropriate, uh, normal, rude? What is rude? Very negative. I'm sorry? Gross, como grosero. Yes, it's grossero. That's rude. 
Yes. Um, strange, typical, and unusual. Okay. Uh, let me see. I don't know if Denia and Angelica are online. Okay, there, Angelica Lasso. Hi. Hello. I'm going to give you a situation and then you tell me, use one of these um, adjectives, okay? Okay. Uh, in El Salvador, you can be 30 or 40 years old and live with your mom and dad. Hmm. I think it's unusual. Okay. Do you think that's unusual? Okay. Yes. I imagine normal because some people do live with their mom and dad. It's like that's something normal. Okay. Because, no, 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 but it's okay. This is an opinion. Like, like for example, in the United States, if you're 18 or 20 and you live with your mom and dad, it's like, that's not normal. Uh, nowadays, ask. more normal than before. Now, yes, because of the situation, right? The economic. Yeah. But I guess mm -hmm. about it, it's always been normal. Even if you, when you get married, sometimes it's normal for for you to go live with their family or she comes to live with your family. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. In in our in our culture it's it's normal. But, but it's it, not okay. It's not okay, yeah. But no se ve feo, like. Yeah. All right, let me. I see. think it's not, I'm sorry, it's not their fault because uh, it's not our fault that we cannot uh, aff afford a house nowadays. They are too expensive and they are, there are no big houses or something that you consider worth it. So perhaps that's why people don't like to. Maybe they are living in a nice house with their family and they won't pay $200,000 for a little house just because it's in Santa Tecla, I'm not sure, or a good, good spot. Yeah, it's true. Yeah. It's true. I, I've seen uh, big houses, they are nice in other countries and they are like $40,000 $40, and that house would be here like 250 maybe or 3000 but but you know what it depends like for example in the United States is that Atlanta Georgia Atlanta Georgia you can buy a mansion a beautiful 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 house for $100,000 a mansion in California uh, in California that would be like a million dollars but what's the but difference their minimum salary there is not three hundred dollars like here. Oh no, but okay, okay, but uh, but Ronald, uh, I have uh, friends that live in California, and they're paying three thousand dollars for an apartment and in a low class, low class apartment. Was that low class? And they're paying that with four people, three thousand dollars. So todo relativo. <laughs> I mean, yeah, don't imagine, I don't, th here with $3,000, I mean, yeah, I, I, I think everything's the same. I mean, here we, we I'm, I'm not justifying because $300 here is nothing, but like over there, a normal, I, I, I talked with my friends, uno que se fueron mojado, de hecho, and I tell them, how much is a, is a you know, like us that work, we, we go to comedores. Do you eat in comedores? We all do, right? And I tell and I tell them how much money do you spend like solo por quitarte el hambre. Mira solo por comer y quitarme el hambre, 15, 20 dólares. Oh, wow. Here in El Salvador, it's what two, three dollars a plate. 
So that, that's where I think it balances. But it also depends of the states because exactly, uh, yeah. and some states that are near from me from Mexico is it cheapest to buy fruits and vegetables yeah. and yeah. Because if you let, let, let's say if you have one example, if you have one million dollars and you want to buy a a normal house in California, uh, maybe, yes, you can buy a house with a million dollars, but not a mansion. But if you go like to Nebraska, puede, puede comprar un, un farm, un, like, puede, tierra. Well, with, with Houston, that. for example, there are some big houses that cost 400, $400,000. Mm -hmm. in, in New York, uh, I was reading that that in, have you seen how people are living in New York? In the, apartments. The, the, the mini apartments, yeah, and they're paying like three, four thousand dollars. Boy, but it's like or just one uh, room. It's claustrophobia. <laughs> man. Did you watch the movie Friends? I'm sorry. Did you watch Friends? Yes. Yes. M many people said that according to Friends was not was not accurate. Because where they lived, but they... friends was in the nineties. No, no, but still, the the study was in the nineties. Where they lived, yes, the apartment was very sencillo, very simple. But they lived near Central Park, and that's one of the most expensive areas in New York. Y por muy sencillo que sea un apartment, it was like eight thousand dollars the rent. Entonces decían, eh, I don't know, una era mesera, la otra era chef. So it was impossible for them to, to live where they live. I know it's a TV show. But they live together. I remember that uh, two boys and two girls live together. But what about Ross? The other. <laughs> yeah. So uh, why were we talking about this? Because, oh, yeah, because it's normal. It's normal to live with your parents. But you know what, Ronald? Another thing is that I've noticed between Latinos and gringos is that Latinos, we're very attached to our family. And European yeah. people, especially European. I have friends, European friends that I met 15, 20 years ago. And they live here. And when you tell them, oh, yeah, you know, mochileando, you know, backpacking. And, so, and I always say, what about your mom and your dad? Oh, yeah, I call them. the And, you know, I seen them when they call, hi, mom, hi, mom. But one, two, three times a year. Can you imagine not seeing or not calling your mother one or two, three times a year? For a Latino, that's difficult. Yeah, I visit my parents once per month, mm -hmm. and also my uh, love parents. I don't know how to say suegros. <laughs> okay, it's not love. It's lay law. Law. My okay, in-laws. So parents. My in-laws. Is that correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. My in-laws. Okay. All right, what, what do you consider an insult? Wendy, are you there? Denia, are you there? Yes. yes. Okay, Wendy, what do you consider an insult? An insult, maybe when you cook a lot for the family and don't eat it. Don't eat them. And they don't eat it. Yeah. When you cook a lot of food, but your family don't eat it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's yeah. an insult. It's an insult. Yeah. Or or, or when, when your you... husband does doesn't say that your food is delicious. <laughs> That's an insult. Yeah. 
you know what it's I can, dangerous. You know what I consider an insult is when you go to somebody's house, well, when somebody visits you and you serve them food and they start doing this. Taking everything they don't like. It's like, what the hell are you doing? Like, don't, that's an insult. Oh, that's an insult. <laughs> All right. What do you consider an insult? Uh, Claudia, what do you consider? He don't, what do you consider an insult? I usually do that the thing that you mentioned, but here in my house when I in your am, house. Yes, but when I am in another house, um I take and uh, I, I take and I eat everything. And sometimes that I consider unusual is um, to pay less in something that has the value. For example, when you are on the market and you ask for something and you ask for regateo, and I am considered that if they have a price, you, you have to pay the same price because they need to earn. I, I consider that. But I don't understand. I mean, I, I understand what you're saying, but I don't understand. I understand, but I don't understand. Uh, <laughs> what What is it that you consider is good, bad, or inappropriate? Or what? Aquí el tema es regatear es bargain. Yes, bargain. Um, I think unusual is the adjective that we were using okay. before. Because they okay, need to but, Okay, for you, what is unusual to bargain? Um, because you have to pay the, the price that they choose for the... So Probably. let's let's say I am selling bananas and I am selling 12 bananas for a dollar. And you ask me how much for the bananas and I say 12 for a dollar. If you think that's okay, you won't ask, for, you won't bargain. No, because I think it's okay. That's very good of you, yes. Yes. Me too, I do that sometimes too. <laughs> yes. I do that frequently with Uber. You know, like sometimes, like for my house to Metro Centro, it's like three dollars and forty cents. Really? Yeah, uh -huh. so I think we need to I give them the, I give them the four dollars. You know, like. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, okay, that's good. That's good. I see your point. But what about if I'm if I if you ask me how much for the bananas, and I say four for a dollar. Is that I plantain? Maybe, but it's depending on because on the market, on the market, I think uh, always is uh, it's, everything yeah, cheaper. Everything cheap. cheaper. Yes. Yes, it's true. Some of them don't have private micro market. Sorry. Yes. Okay, um, Angela, what is something you consider strange? I consider strength is um, mm, strength is fuerte. No. No. Strange. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> le, no, don't, don't, don't say anything in Spanish. Listen, strange. Okay. I'm going to give an example. Okay. Uh, uh, the, I'm going to give an example, so so you can. Uh, okay. Okay. Is, uh, wait, is, uh, wait, Angela. Please listen, Angela. You need to listen. Please listen. Okay. Okay. I, I am going to give you an example of strange. The Angela. Um, Angela, wait. Necesito que escuche, Angela. Si no entiende, dígame. Le estoy diciendo que le voy a dar un ejemplo. Okay, okay, okay. Okay. Mm. okay. Strange. People consider strange. Um, in San Miguel, they eat pupusas with curtido from mayonnaise. I like it. 
what people Salvadorians consider strange. Yes. <laughs> It's, for me, I love it. It's good. And I prefer I prefer mayonnaise curtido than to vinegar. But for the majority of people, they consider that strange. Okay, yes. do you understand? Now give me an yes, example yes. with strange. I consider consider strange um um Oh, uh, I don't know. <laughs> um, and can I give um, an example to Angela? Please, sir? yes, please eating, go ahead. Eating, um, an example for me to be strange is when I get to San Salvador the first time when I was on the bus. For me, it was really strange. People were not talking to each other because here in San Miguel, that's really uh, usual. People were not talking, just the, on their business. I mean, it was really weird for me because when I was there, like a robot, I mean, like looking yeah. straight and like if anybody were, was from another country, think about it, if you were in Europe, you don't know nobody, anybody. And it was strange, like, oh my God, it's in the same place with Salvadoran. We are not talk, we don't even say good morning. Here in San Miguel, when you go into the bus, people say good morning. Say, for in San Salvador, that's strange. They, they, that's unusual for me. So, because people act like uh, unpolite sometimes and like rude because they just, they don't even say, excuse me, when they want to go through, they just pass and push the people. I mean, yeah. that was really strange for me. They are always in a bad mood. It's true. It's true. And that's a strange. I mean, that was a strange. I mean, this is a different behavior here in San Miguel. I mean, in the, in the, in the, in the east of the Salvador, Gotera, Morazan, they act different. They People say hi. People say always morning. talk. And yeah, they help people you. People talk a lot. If you can go in a pause, and people that the person next to you doesn't you don't know who she or he is by they speaking they tell you the story of her life or his life that's really strange in San Salvador you don't I mean it was really hard for me to get used to it not talk talk nobody just like just me in the bus so nobody else so in San Miguel that's normal in San Salvador that's strange yeah to talk yeah, to strangers strange. like the stranger yeah that's right all right cool but, so you I see under, that... but at, the, mm -hmm, at the end they understood why why people behave like that in not Salvador because i spent five years over there and at the end of the day i understood why they behave like that because it's complicated i mean stress and most of the time most uh people vulgar get up get on the bus and that's really scary i mean I, and that, uh, finally, I understood why they behave like that. But That's at true. the beginning, for me, it was really strange. Yeah, okay, good. So, so listen, Angela, so in, in San Miguel, it's normal for people to talk in the bus. For Bert, for Bert, it's normal. But it's strange for Bert that in San Salvador, people don't talk. All right, that was a good example. So give me an example, Angela, of strange. I consider strange in the people um <laughs> are the eating for example a pizza in horchata, maybe. <laughs> I don't understand horchata what. Well, uh, because I don't know for me I no it is strange for me. But what is the strange about horchata? Mm. Pizza? Angela, eating, que... eating with pizza. Oh, okay. Yes, yes. But, but, me, I, but Angela, Angela, you don't eat horchata. You can't. 
Um, is my normally Coca Cola, for example. And Angela, tea. listen to me, please. Listen. Okay. You can't eat horchata. You can't. What do you do with horchata? Is I I tell lo, o sea, lo digo por mí. <laughs> No, no, Angela, usted me dijo que es raro comer horchata con pizza. Yes. Uh, ¿La horchata uh, se come? A drink, drink. Thank you, yes. Drink, yes. Yeah, so Angela, is yeah, for you strange drinking horchata with pizza, right? It, 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 yes. Okay, okay, good. Yeah, that's strange. Yeah, you know, for me, it's strange to drink a milkshake or un licuado of milk with pupusas. It's like, oh. For me, it's so strange to eat bread and in the middle have uh, beans and plantain. Oh, man, I love that. Yeah, but it's strange. It's so strange. Oh, I love it. <laughs> Everything you said, I like it. <laughs> And I like I like bread <laughs> with it's beans, like plantain, and eggs. And uh, milkshakes with pupusa and platanos with fried beans. Yeah. <laughs> and pizza with horchata. <laughs> yeah, pizza I with horchata. horchata. I love yeah. it. I love it horchata. Doesn't matter pizza. I love it. You know, I love the horchata, for, but it's very expensive. But it's good the horchata from uh, Mr. Donut. It's very good, but it's yeah. very expensive. Did you taste the camera? No, I don't think so. No, you see, the problem is I am lactose intolerant. So um, uh, so I know that the majority of those drinks, they have milk. So um, la, la mayoría, like horchata usually has milk. So I try, I like horchata, I love it, but sometimes I try not to drink it porque me ruino el día. Like in Pollo Campero, imagine I'm eating chicken and I drink horchata, oh man. In, in, yes. in one, in one minute. The milk. Mm -hmm. Yes, all right, okay, good. So that's strange, that's strange. Ah, let's do one, rude. What is something rude? To hang up uh, a phone call when someone is still speaking. Okay, good. That's rude. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's rude. Okay. It's rude when the people say bad words. And it's not necessary sometimes. And speaking okay. and the... Say words, bad word, was bad word. Sorry, but okay. it's but, uh, but, but you know what? Bad words. I think in that case is really inappropriate. When, maybe yes, or offensive. When, right when you call when you talk. Sorry, uh, simple. I don't know. Maybe the religion and the people. Uh, say bad words is it's not okay this it's, it's it's rude, rude. Yes. yeah mm -hmm. that's true uh-huh or like uh let me give you an example okay um please this is an example oh my friend mm -hmm. his brother has down syndrome he said that see ha 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 Punch. <laughs> I punch him. Yeah, you would punch me. Mm -hmm. yes. Yeah. That's offensive. That's rude. Everything, correct? Yeah, rude, rude es un poco nivel ya más, más alto, like rude. Los que son padres o hermanos mayores, lo que sea, you know, cuando su hijo le dice quizás al abuelo o la abuela, callate, hey, don't say that to your grandfather. That's rude. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No te estoy burlando. Mira, ja, ja, mira ese niño. No, don't, don't laugh. That's rude. No, no, mira. Oh, you know, when you look at someone, that's rude. 
¿Ya? Yes. Ah, voy, voy a claro lo de la persona Down Syndrome. Eso no me lo inventé, ¿ok? <ríe> Por si alguien lo entendió. Yes. <ríe> it, it was just, it was just it, an, an example. What do you say? It's something sensitive. What do you say? Burlarse. Make fun of. Mm, I consider it rude <laughs> when someone made a mistake and another person make fun of them. Yes. Yes, it's true. I consider that rude too. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So yeah, rude. Remember, rude is in situations like that when you when you something you don't you don't um you don't like or maybe something you hate <laughs> you say that's rude okay and then we have typical what is something typical mm -hmm. just what i'd say i mean typical here in san miguel that people okay. is really Talkative. They love mm -hmm. to talk. That's really typical. And eating pupusa with <laughs> curtido de mayonesa. <laughs> That's so typical. <laughs> I mean, I remember when I get to San Salvador, I mean, I was looking for the salsa negrita and um, <laughs> curtido de mayonesa. It was really strange. Uh, fortunately for me, I didn't ask the girl because I suddenly I realized, oh no, no mayonesa, no. Salsa negrita. <laughs> yeah. Or like, you know, another example for typical is when you go to a discotheque. I don't know. I haven't gone to a discotheque in many years, but there is always that typical man in a disco que se cree un sex symbol. That he asks all the women, do you want to dance? Y todas le dicen que no. And he's, he starts dancing by himself, like, like, like for women to look at me, I'm sexy. <laughs> there's always that typical man. I, I don't know now. Is, is it true that there's always someone like that? I think in everywhere. <laughs> yeah, in everywhere. Huh? There's always a typical. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, so that was that was a good example from Bert. Typical is like in Spanish too, el típico. Oh, oh, saben como se dice Juan Pérez? Do you know that expression? Mm -mm, no. I think no. it's John Doe. John Doe, oh, I don't know. John Doe. Is that John Doe, uh, Juan Pérez? You, you never heard that expression, Alberto? Albert? Juan Pérez? Yeah. Yeah, in Spanish, yeah, yeah, I have, but in English, it's not that. I didn't, I don't know. I, mean, I didn't know. In English, is John Doe. In English, is John Doe. I, I thought I he was John Smith. <laughs> yeah, you know, yeah, I, I don't know why it's Doe, but Smith would be, or Lee. And what is the meaning in Spanish? Uh, when people say um, Juan, entonces vino el Juan Pérez de la nada y it's like someone, like the normal someone, but you just put a name to that person, and you say Juan Pérez like, because they're the most popular names in Spanish. Or it's similar to Julano Mengano Sutano. Julano Mengano. Huh? Never mind. Oh. Y cuando y cuando dicen no me vayas a salir con tu Juan Pérez, ¿qué significa? I, I never heard that one. I have. <laughs> oh, really? Hey, that's interesting. Does anyone know? No, the first time that I. I, I never heard that one. No me hace con Juan Pérez. Hey. There's like. Uh, oh, uh, como like el mecánico. I don't know if you have. Sorry. Juan mecánico. When say Domingo Siete. Oh, no, I don't know if I understand. I think they are similar. Yeah, but Domingo Siete, yeah, you're right. Domingo Siete is typical. I mean, here. 
You know, you know what is that? Domingo siete. Oh, well, okay. Uh huh. There's there's one that no es bien común se llama Average Joe. Average Joe. Uh -huh. Do you know what average Joe is? Average, like promedio, or like. Uh huh. Y Joe. El Julano like, promedio. Uh huh. Like, let's say Angelica Lasso, uh huh, is talking to Wendy about her boyfriend. Wendy Lay say, hey, tell me about your boyfriend. Oh, well, my boyfriend, he's your average Joe. You know, he lives with his parents. He's a good kid. He he works. He studies. It's like a normal, nothing normal different. Guy. Yeah, a normal he's guy. He's a pan de Dios. <laughs> yeah, he's a pan de Dios. No. Yeah, like a, nor <laughs> like a normal, what, what a normal 20-year-old does. Entonces, let's see. That's an expression. He's, he's your average Joe. Un tipo tranquilo. Ajá, es tranquilo, tu típico, okay. común, corriente. Uh -huh. Okay. Entonces, es bien común usar eso, the average Joe. De hecho, hay, hay, había un gimnasio allá que era bien famoso, una línea se llamaba Average Joe. Joe, era, like a name. Like, yes. Era marketing okay. para que la gente que era, hey, yo soy un average Joe. O sea, para, o sea la, el gym no ponía, like... Hombres cholos en fit y que no sé, fitness y no sé qué, ponían average Joe. So, like everybody, you can identify. ¿Cuál es el average Joe? Puede ser gordo, normal, chiquito, bajito, whatever. It's just someone normal. Yes. Like, for example, in El Salvador, a tall woman or a very, very tall man is not normal. Yes, C7, but that's not an average Joe for a Salvadoreño. Because Salvadorians, we are not tall. We're not short tampoco, but we're just average. <laughs> yes. Okay, so um, that's rude. So remember, rude is for you, rude is something that you take offensively. Okay. Oh man, we finished. So tomorrow we'll continue with this. Tomorrow we have to do the listening and we're going to do reported speech. Lo que vamos a hacer mañana es super, super, super interesante. Okay. Es como empiezan los chambres. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah, when you, como uno dice las cosas a su versión. That's what is called a reported speech. De ahí viene la palabra reporter. All right. Okay. Entonces, mm -hmm. okay, so okay. thank you very much. I will see you tomorrow. Have a wonderful day. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye. 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 Bye